Crow Pro is an amazing screenshot capturing tool which you can download from the link provided in the video description. Once you have downloaded, just open this tool and select the area you want to capture. And once captured, you will see lots of options on the right panel here and we will use them one by one to demonstrate how this tool functions. The first is to mark certain text or area that you want to point. Second is the circle option. You can select the color and outline any information. And the next is, you know, rectangle tool. You can highlight certain text or image. Then comes the pen tool, which you can use to pinpoint something or you can draw certain text on the screenshot. Now, if you want to hide certain information, then you can use this tool. You can draw it over the image or text you want to hide and it will blur that information. Now comes the steps tool. You can pinpoint steps that you want to highlight. For example, this is the step one, this information is step two, this is step three and step four. So this is an amazing tool. You can download it from their website. For more information, you can check out the links provided in the video description. Hey guys, welcome to Creative Venus and today we will learn this beautiful presentation slide which is very simple to create. It is a kind of minimalistic slide. There is just an image and few text elements. So that's how you can design a slide. It is a very simple and easy to learn slide. So while designing corporate presentations, sometimes you need to showcase information in a very simple manner and this is the kind of slide that you can use so here i have placed this image where background is white so you need this kind of an image where the background is clean also you can do what you can do is if you know photoshop you can create a cutout of a subject and you can place it here now you need to insert this bar shape and place it on the right side of the screen make sure it covers the 50 percent of the screen area now what i'm doing is what i am i am you know enhancing the color of this image because the image looks beautiful i want it to look more saturated just like we see colors on nowadays AMOLED screens. So that kind of effect will look good here. So now you can place text on the right side and branding on the left. So textiling is also very important. Make sure you give extra attention to the text part because it's not the image that makes a presentation. It's the it's information, you know, the text. That's why you are creating the presentation. You want to showcase the information. So make sure the text looks good. It has big fonts. It matches with the style of uh, and theme of the presentation. Just don't place the text. Think before placing the text how you want to showcase it, which are the important keywords, what you want to highlight, how you want to present it, what are the important keywords that you want to add here. So you need to focus on those things. So you, you can also place these kind of small elements like line or you can use some icons here so these look aesthetically very nice and the presentation slide looks very beautiful and engaging for the viewer
always try to add these kinds of you know small components on the slide so here i have changed the color for 7 and on the left side we now we will now place the branding part and the title so here you can write the title of the slide and some information small description whatever you want so here i've used monster at font it's a free google font that i have used and you know you can also try you know such beautiful fonts you don't have to go with Arial and Calibris every time. There are lots of designer fonts out there. If you can buy, just use them. Otherwise, you can go to Google Fonts and there you can download some nice corporate fonts. And also play with the font style like bold semi bold medium and follow a theme like titles should be bold and subheadings should be semi bold then text should be regular you need to decide that or you can do the opposite as well titles can be regular subheadings can be semi bold and text can be bold but follow a theme So red is the color of this theme because our image is in red. So our presentation slide design is complete. Now comes the animation. So in order to animate this presentation slide, so I got this idea while designing this slide. My initial idea was to create this slide only, but I just got this idea to animate and for that you need to duplicate this image in the next slide and we need only this portion where is where the liquid is flowing and appearing in this glass we just need that part and the rest we will remove and you can use the background removal option and now we have this cutout of the image and we will further crop it so that it fits on the image so presentation i mean powerpoint has all the required options to create beautiful designs so here you can place it over this image and now you can flip it vertically and then horizontally so that it looks like some kind of random placement so here is how you can place it and now what we will do is we will animate this part and when we will animate it it will look like that the liquid is pouring pouring in this glass so that's what we want to showcase here so we have applied this animation make sure it starts with previous go to animation pane right click run this animation in the loop like this until the end of the slide now again duplicate this part reduce its size and place it and place it over this image so now we have two cutouts and we will place it towards the bottom like this 
and we will add some delay so the animation is complete so here is the final output i hope you will like it please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share and thanks for watching bye bye peace